and welcome to profit data today exactly i'm going to talk about this uh, you know trading this basket orders okay so exactly i'm going to show you some you know maximum 10 basket orders which we can place okay with the help of this uh, you know javascript uh, uh plugin okay so exactly i'm going to just show you uh, so uh, uh, in this one exactly i've been created only like you know for two stocks and exactly uh, in next steps i'm going to show you uh, i will like you know go at least 10 stocks placing in that one okay so i've been placed only like two stocks so i just go there and just buy this one okay so if i just go with this one uh, buy so exactly two stocks are there where exactly i am uh, buying okay so if i just say trade the trade the basket exactly uh, i will go i will get like you know uh, trading with this uh, you know two baskets okay so you know buy as you can say different stocks ntpc and s bank are dis different stocks but at a time i can place my order okay i can go for the buy and exactly i can go for the quantity also so market and product as i can choose by myself and validity uh, you know, need to worry about it will get as it's uh, itself okay if i just uh, you know click this place it will gonna place this all of my word order at once so i'm just checking uh, this one okay so i've been placed uh, normally like you know uh, just say i will say just two order okay so this is exactly uh, this is my python file where exactly i've been shown you okay uh, so exactly in front of you i'm gonna code and show it to you how exactly i'm doing this one so before uh, that one exactly uh, i want you uh, to you know recognize some of uh, you know my videos were exactly on there okay uh, youtube.com slash profit data slash videos if you go over there exactly you will uh, you know get my videos exactly so uh, before going uh, proceeding further i want you to go through this tutorial where exactly i have been uh, shown you okay so here exactly i'm just web scrapping with the help of a python request i suggest that you should go so you can understand what i am like you know i've been uh, moving uh, you know random wise okay and this is one algo trading from like you know free publisher api key why python okay you can these two videos are there exactly you should watch so exactly for this you need a vam server vam server exactly as you can see their logo is there so vam server you need so installation all this has been explained uh, in this uh, you know for this what i say for this uh, uh, for this trading what i'm gonna do is like i've been creating a graphical user interface uh, which i'm doing so i suggest you should go watch these three videos so and come directly then exactly you will understand what i am trying to do okay so exactly i just let you know that this is the main file i've been previously also i've been gone through one of uh, my you know video by explaining um, you know this uh, uh, you know customized trading solution python flask it is the same as uh, doing in this one basically uh, you know this uh, vam server installation and this one got advantages of uh, creating those dynamic programming okay so uh, i'm i prefer this one you know further i'll be uh, covering both flask and this one so first of all i'll go with this one so i'm just experimenting different kind of uh, you know gui for uh, you know for semi algo trading where exactly i'm going to show you so here i've been just placed two order exactly i'm fr in front of you i'm i'm going to show you more and more orders on this one okay so two stocks are there exactly uh, first of all i prefer that uh, you know if if you install this vam uh, you know as i say uh, you know vam 64 so i suggest that you should go this uh, window c where exactly your vam 64 will be there just double click and then go ww then try to create your own uh, you know folder as i want to uh, you know go further i suggest that you need a folder for this one so i suggest that in my that 
clean coding and all i just suggest that you should go for a new uh, what i suggest new folder kite so this is where exactly i will place all my code okay so first of all i'll go with uh, you know this one with the kite.api so i suggest that i should name that first one so i will go and say as uh, you know kite gui dot pi okay so here exactly i am going to code okay and um, in this is uh, very much important you exactly you need a form also as i have been shown you this is uh, a form where exactly i have been you know a uh, html form where exactly i have been used to place my order for at a time okay so i'm going to show you so this is uh, kite gui dot uh, py so exactly i'm going to open this one and in front of you i'm just going to code and show it to you how you can exactly add this order so in this first of all i just go a, a summary okay exactly so as you can see you have to say about where exactly your python is there and then you have to import cgi cgi tb cgi is enough but i think you should prefer go with the cgi tb then you need the form transaction type from getting the value which is need to be stored then print content type then what is your button uh, id then script source you know publisher dot js then script okay then you have to place something dot uh, ready function i uh, have to go about this one and uh, you have to you know place this kite api and exactly you have to get by uh, you know adding this one okay and at the end link and exactly you have to format this one okay so you have to do all those things so i'll go step by step okay so you have to patiently listen this one and you you should also can able to code with me so i prefer you just code with me in and around okay so first of all uh, i suggest that uh, you know i just uh, you know say that uh, i should talk about where my python is there okay so my python is in c folder so c is to python 36 Slash Python dot exe. Okay, so here exactly my uh, Python is in this folder, capital P in thirty six, and there exactly Python dot exe will be there. So I prefer that you should go for this one. Then exactly our import should be done first. So I will import CGI and uh, CGI TB also. I will import. Then I am going to talk about this form. Okay, so I will say CGI dot Field storage. Okay, you need this one. Field storage, and then I should talk about this uh, form. So I exactly, I am just uh, you know, I need only transaction type by self for at least ten stocks, and exactly I am placing all of my stocks whichever I needed. So transaction type. So I am say that form get value of mine. Okay, and. Uh, i should name it as uh, you know transaction type itself okay transaction type itself so i think transaction type is get is got done okay now now what i am talk about i need uh, you know this uh, content type uh, which is of uh, you know as i say is of uh, text or html and uh, please follow this one this is you know to perfectly place this one okay so i think i've been done then uh, exactly i have to go through this uh, you know javascript plugin so 